let's go through what's on the tasks. Okay, before we start, I have not written the task yet. Um, I don't like doing the task until after I've done the review so I can see what people um, are good at and need to work on. Um, so I haven't written what's actually on the test yet. The test has not been written. Um, what could be on it? It's possible there will be definitions. Um, but I can explain in your own words. Okay, the question is how do I study for definitions? Well, the best way is just to read through your notes one time. And you know what? The first half of every lesson, I do. Um, I, you know, I sort of do like a page of just notes. Okay, so something like that. So the things we talked about mainly for that are the definition of a limit, um, what a uh, where the actual tangent comes from, and where the f of a plus h equation came from. I don't even know if we've done anything more than that. That's about it. So if there's one, it might just be one more thing like that. Uh, grade 12 review. Um, that's long synthetic division. No, either one's fine. Um, some difference of cubes. Okay, I'm calling that grade 12 review. Let's do it here. I'm calling that grade 12 review um, because you should get to use this all the way through. Okay, right? But I'm putting it on there. It's not going to be a specific section. Will be in there. Then we got through um, difference quotient. Um, making equations of tangents, secants. And average instantaneous rate of change. Next up, we did limits, and we had um, factoring to cancel. We had uh, substitution. We had rationalizing. Infinity. And I think probably we covered most of those on the test. Maybe not on the uh, choice assignment. Not really substitution. So I'm going to do a substitution one today for sure to make sure you guys remember how to do that. But the rest of them we, we covered on the assignment for limits. And finally, derivatives. Um, there will be a word problem. And um, good algebra. And I think that's all we covered this unit, I think. All right, so that's what you're going to be responsible for, is that right there. Now, things that are not on there, there's no graphing. The two will ask you about that, there'll be no graphing. Um, this is going to be very heavy algebra. We have a few small word problems. I'll be very clear on what I'm looking for. Um, on them. I can clarify questions for you. Like you say to me, what are you asking me to do here? I can do that. But if you say to me, how do I do this? I'm going to say no. Okay. Um, you got to get, we're getting ready for next year, right? Like this is what we're getting ready for. And I want that, you know, even though I scared you guys and said your mark's going to drop 20%, I don't want your mark to drop 20%. I want it to be 87, that drops to an 86. The university is what I want. I don't want you to drop all the way, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Right. Um, so, for example, a lot of the questions use like sort of the format of f of a plus h minus f of a yeah. all over h, or f of x plus h minus yes. f of x, and it's like all these same things. Yeah, they're the only. Okay, so, let's good question here. So, difference quotient is the f of a plus h thing, and this is the f of x plus h. You know, if I don't say which to use, like on a word problem, you can use either one. If I say to you though, find the derivative. And you tell me the derivative of something is a cubed minus 4a, that's wrong. 
Okay, right? Because it's original in terms of x. Does that make sense? Okay, in the same way, if, if I'm asking you to make an equation with tangent, and these are x plus h, that's fine. Unless I say the average rate of change, though, you have to use a and h for the average rate of change. Right? Because a is your starting value and h is your. Yeah. Wouldn't you have to write like, just the limits so you have to write like the variance Yes. No, and the limits, and also for the uh, derivatives. For derivatives, too, yeah. Okay, um, before I get started, I'm going to do one on substitution to remember to make sure we can do it. Is there anything on the computer, Tanner, or anybody else that we need um, that you want to go through? Because I know we, the assignment was good. I think that it covered a lot of the material here. I'm going to do one probably thinking like making the equation of a tangent and perpendicular, maybe one like that, if you were asking about perpendicular. Um, and I'm going to do a substitution and then what else? Yeah, go ahead. Or if it says use the uh, difference quotient, right? Because I've on the assignment, it said use the difference quotient to find the tangent. So that should be a plus h, for, oh, that's number two, I think, right? Mm -hmm. right so, so number would two. Would we get marks off if we did? I'd probably take off a half, like all together, like not for each one. Like, like so I'm not going to hammer you. Like, my goal isn't here to minimize your mark, but if you're not being exact, I have to, I have to move. So if you might mess up eight times, you'll probably lose one half a mark, and I'll say, you know, do it properly or, you know, or whatever. Like yeah, I'll do infinity one. I'm going to start with substitution if you don't mind, though, okay? Here we go. This is substitution limit. Now, <laughs> before, I, before I go through substitution limits here, if you're able to do this without substituting, that's fine. You don't have to substitute. But I'm going to try and give you one that forces you to substitute the best you can. Here we go. Um, hopefully this one works here now. Limit um, x approaches 1. The cube root of, um, we'll substitute that x squared plus 3 minus 2 all over x plus 1. Go for that one. Okay. That's 0 over 0, right? That's 0 over 0. Looking at this one, why instantly am I going to want to substitute? What instantly makes me look at this one and say, substitute away? Yes. Yeah, it's, well, it's not only the square root, it's because it's a cube root, right? You cannot, like, if you multiply this by, like, we're trying to rationalize it, like with the other ones, you can't rationalize a cube root. Okay, right? You can do it for squares, for plus and a minus, but you can't for cubes, okay? So we're going to substitute. Well, can somebody be brave and give me the first step here? If you're out, can somebody else give me these first step to substitution, please? Go ahead. I need A for Austin, if you don't mind. Okay, things are looking good. Now, this is the part now, this is for the other Austin here. I won't pick on you now, but this is where you need to be aware. Why do I need to continue on here? Why can't I just stop there with substitution? Anybody here? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if you take a look here, there's just a plain x. If I were to substitute, that would be a minus 2 over x minus 1. And that doesn't, we can't cancel anything. Okay? So we're going to isolate x. Can I get someone who's tremendously brave? Give me the first step. Go ahead. Um, I guess, I don't know if it's 2 over 3 or 3 over 2, but. Okay, so you want to do. B, 2 over 3, or yeah. Uh, Let's get rid of this first. How do you so yeah, how do you get rid of a cube root? Yeah, just three. Yeah. Because you're trying you're trying to do too much at once, I think. We'll just do I know what you're trying to do, but all of the whole thing is cube rooted, not just the x squared, right? So you can't just go too big for that. Okay, next step is what, please? You're out. Go ahead. Good, so a cubed. This one's gonna be messy. Holy moly, I'm loving it. What do we do now? Is that right? Uh, square root for the guys. Uh oh, Mr. Savage, this is going to work. Let's hope it goes well. Okay, let's see what happens. That one looks nice. Oh, this doesn't look nice at all.
Okay. We're still, still not feeling too bad about this, though. This is where we need, this is the four plus question now. I don't want to feel brave and tell me what we can finally do. Because this is fair game for tomorrow. Because those people that are holding their hands down and saying, oh, don't pick on me. I have a square in the denominator, hint, hint. What should I probably do right now? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to rationalize. Okay? I'm hoping things are going to work out for me. I'm hoping. I'm hoping somehow there'll be an A minus two in the middle layer. That's what I'm hoping. And I hope I'm right. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, it didn't work? No, yeah, I don't work out. Uh, you guys, just let me down here. Did not work? Yeah, it comes up. Actually, no, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, just don't let me down here. Let me write it out. What? Oh, this one's zero over zero, isn't it? Yeah. Four minus two. One plus oh. three cubed root. That's not two. Yeah, they didn't start. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slow down here. It's okay. I'm going to slow down here. Is everyone okay how we got that far, though? Is everyone okay with getting up to this point? Right? Because that's the idea of the substitution. Bailey? Everyone was saying it was 0 over 0, so I thought maybe I was wrong. Bailey, you're never wrong. Tell yourself that. It's not 0 over 0. Right. You want me to find another one that works out? Or are you happy with that? Are you guys happy up to here? Right? Because that's the idea. Sort of, Bailey? Mm -hmm. No? The idea of the substitution, what did you get the idea of substitution? No? Based on yeah, substitution, it's looking back. Uh, all right, all right, okay, 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 okay. Just don't cube root, just square root. Right. Are the questions on the test assignment it significantly more difficult than the test? Um, just to test ourselves, or is it just? No, I wouldn't say so. Okay. How's that better? Hopefully, this one's better. Hey, let's do it zero over zero. Okay, what are we going to substitute this time? B for Go ahead. The root of x. Yeah, so I'm going to set L equals root x. Okay. Now, somewhere out of the loop, how does this make the world a better place? Yeah, do that? Go ahead. Um, we can uh, square both sides and then x equals. Oh, you want to say x equals? L square. Okay, yeah, you can do that too, yeah. So therefore, continuing on, and where does x squared equal somewhere over the new? Yeah, go ahead. Um, L to the fourth. Okay. 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 okay, so things are starting to get a little bit nice, I think, I hope. Hang on. Would you agree, please, and sub these numbers? We'll sub this back in. We're going to let x approach one. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Things are starting to look good. Brad, you're my favorite person in the whole wide world. Okay, I love my way. I respect you a great deal. What do we do with the numerator, please? So we have an L fourth and an L. What can I do to those? Oh, he's freezing. That's okay. He's freezing. That's all right. I'll come back to you. Somebody help him. What do we do? Bailey. Take it out now. Take 
Okay, now things are starting to, this is like, I'm getting giddy a little bit. I'm not actually going to giggle, but I, like, I want to giggle right now. All right? Why do I want to giggle? Somebody knows. Why do I want to giggle? My blood sugar's dropping? No. Why do I want to giggle? Come on, why do I want to giggle? Somebody help me. Why is this nice? Fine, what can I do? Go ahead. Yeah, what does this turn into? Is it over? Yeah. Oh, close. Right, remember that's a difference of cubes. Oh, hello. Hello. Just giving somebody a tour of different classes. Awesome. Let's count some vectors. Look, and they got a test tomorrow, so they're yeah, like. <laughs> How can you say that? It's okay. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun if no one else is. Okay. Good luck at your test tomorrow. Okay, somebody help me out here. What are you doing now, please? Smash it up. Back up. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to set L equals root x. So that equals when x approaches 1 root x times x plus root x plus 1. Does that make sense, I think? So this should equal 3. That one works, good. Don't worry, I will triple check my answers tonight on the test to make sure everything works out properly. But there will be a substitution one, possibly like the first one that works. Okay, there's my hint to you guys, all right? Okay. And the hint is for you guys, when you see something messy inside a square root like that, that's when it's probably time to, to do the substitution. Okay, okay uh, what else? Do you want to do the infinity limit, you said? Teresa, you want to do the infinity limit? Okay, here's the infinity limit. I'm going to do A, B, and C. Letter A is going to say lim. X approaches infinity. Uh, 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 all over x plus 1. Okay, these are fast. These I want to be free marks for you guys tomorrow. For the top one. What am I going to do rather than I, what am I going to do for this one? Yeah, I can't go ahead. So I'd write X. How'd you get X? Right on. So it's the highest, just for all heard there, guys? It's the highest, it's the highest value of X in the denominator, okay? So it's going to be lim X approaching. Then you can just say infinity here, okay? But I need you to at least see this, Bailey. Okay? So just so what Bailey is asking is, can I skip 100 steps? I said no. You have to show me that middle line and then go. Now, why does 1 over x, why does this disappear? 3 times infinity is? Infinity. infinity. Minus 4 is? Infinity. Now, what's 1 over infinity? Zero. 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 I can get away with that part. It's like 1 over 10 zillion. Let's say I were to have one dollar and I split it among my ten zillion friends, each of them would hate me. Okay, because they get nothing from me, alright? So there's nothing. Letter B goes lim. Uh, X approaches zero. Sorry, this is fast, but you know this one looks scary. Someone other than Bailey and Tanner, what do I divide through by on this one? And that, go ahead. Where do you get x to 4 from? And it's the highest one of those Right on. Now, even though there's an x cubed here, don't divide by x cubed because that's going to give you infinity over infinity. Right? It's got to be the biggest one in the denominator. So this is going to be lim x approaches 0 
4 minus 2 over x all over 2 plus 1 over x4. And I'll go to the next board from one another room here. Um, if it's 150, you eliminate y does it uh, x approach to 0? Because I made a typo. Thank you. When we add, uh, thank you. Okay, so what's 4 minus 2 over infinity? 4, the divided by 2 is 2, you're right. So this is 4 minus 0 all over 2 plus 0, which equals 2. I'm going to do one more and then we're going to move on to, what else was I going to do? I can't remember, word problems. Oh, one of those tangent things. All right, let us see. Limit x approaches infinity. 5x over x squared plus 1. All right, James, because I respect you a great deal, can you tell me what I want to divide everything by, please? x squared. x squared. Always the highest power in the denominator. Hopefully, we're getting that down now. Okay, so what's 5 over infinity? Zero. zero. Over 5 plus 0, which is equal to 0. Okay. It's okay to have a zero limit. Why it's okay. Is it five? Five? Because I'm totally not here today. Okay, we just want to triple check me. Because I was distracted. Because I was distracted. Because I was distracted. Yes. Zero over zero. And infinity over infinity. But like zero over zero. Okay. I'm going to pause on this. And then you guys turn down. I'm going to do a tangent question after you back. Um, maybe while I'm pausing this, you guys want like an incredibly difficult derivative to do? Okay, 20. Okay, 20.